What's up, guys? Eddie Henry, XR Lifestyles, discussing cravings today. Ah, I'm going to pick it crap all day long. Cravings, mindless, brainless eating. Ah, I hear this all day long. Okay, why do we have cravings? And furthermore, how do we beat cravings? So you have cravings for one of two reasons. You're either malnourished, which means you have some type of nutritional deficiency in your body, and your body is craving that nutrient. Let me break this down a little bit further. Every cell in your body requires 90 nutrients to function properly. The second you have less than 90 for whatever reason, that sends a signal to your brain your brain results in a craving because we need fuel, we need to get back to 90 nutrients so we can be optimal. And the second thing that could possibly cause a craving is dehydration. Your body does not, unfortunately, differentiate between cravings and thirst. So the second you get dehydrated, you have the same type of signal sent from your brain in the form of cravings. So the only for sure way to remain in a state that you don't have cravings and therefore don't snack is to hit a point of what I like to call nutrient saturation. How we hit nutrient saturation is through eating a variety of whole foods timed correctly, using proper supplementation, and staying hydrated properly. If you do those things, you will never have a craving again. If you never have a craving again, you'll never snack again. If you never snack again, you'll be a freaking lean and mean beast. So let me give you a couple examples here. Breakfast, we'll use breakfast for example. So your first example is a whole wheat bagel. Second example is whole wheat bagel with peanut butter, banana, coffee creamer. Third example, my personal favorite is kids earmuffs, fast food breakfast, or what I like to call chemical bullshit. And then the fourth, my favorite breakfast, actually my personal favorite breakfast, would be a vegetable omelet with mixed berries and a vitamin mineral complex. So back to the whole wheat bagel. Okay, it's gonna yield about 300 calories. And of those 90 nutrients that your cells need, I would probably say it delivers about 10 of the 90. So you are still nutritionally deficient after eating this bagel. So consequently, about an hour to an hour and a half later, your body's gonna have cravings, then you're gonna snack, failure. That's not good, that gives you big hips and a big butt. Okay, the second thing. Okay, so now we have a bagel, peanut butter, banana, coffee, creamer. So now we're up to about 700 calories, but the good news is we have more nutrients in there. We have peanut butter, some protein, and a banana, uh, some color, some potassium. But the problem is now we have this acidic, toxic beverage that the creamer made the coffee into and that leaches minerals back out of your body. So out of the 90 nutrients our body needs, this probably delivers 30 but yields 700 calories. And unfortunately, about an hour and a half later, you're gonna be freaking hungry again. You're gonna have cravings, you're gonna snack, big butt, big stomach, failure, not good. The third, oh my God, fast food or earmuffs kids, chemical bullshit. So not only is this like a thousand calories possibly of empty calories, it delivers zero nutrition, it's acidic, it's toxic, but these brilliant, brilliant companies put what's called neuroexcitatory chemicals in their food like MSG. This stuff is addictive. It's addictive to your brain it stimulates your brain so an hour and a half later because believe me after fast food you're freaking deficient hour and a half later when you're starving craving not only do you want to eat again you want to eat their food again because of these neuro excitatory chemicals that's freaking brilliant good job big food companies that way to make us fat as hell and the fourth my personal favorite egg white omelet Vegetables mixed in, mixed berries on the side, vitamin mineral complex. Okay, this yields about 250 calories and it has all 90 nutrients the body needs. So yay, I've hit nutrient saturation. People always ask me, hey Eddie, how many calories do you eat a day? Okay, I'm 200 pounds. I have probably about 1,600 calories a day. And this is a response I get, what the hell, 1,600 calories a day? I would float away, I'd shrivel up, I'd lose my muscle, yes. You would lose your muscle and you would float away if you had 1,600 calories of bagel and peanut butter because that's empty calories. But if you have nutrient-dense foods every three to four hours throughout your whole day, 
your body gets the nutrition it needs. You maintain nutrient saturation. And if you do this right consistently, you will never, ever have a craving again. Why would your body crave things if you're always at full or have these 90 nutrients? That's the goal, guys. Cravings create snacking. Snacking creates empty calorie consumption. Empty calorie consumption creates weight gain, frustration, and stops your results. If you want to be lean and mean for life, you must reach nutrient saturation. The way you do that is eating a variety of whole foods timed correctly every three to four hours, proper supplementation, vitamin mineral complex, and always stay properly hydrated. It's as simple as that, guys. Do it. You will be lean and mean for life. You will look better. You will be fitter. You will grow younger. If you like this video, like it on Facebook, subscribe to my channel, Eddie Henry at YouTube. As always, check out xrlifestyles.com for the latest news. Later.